starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and, of course, Lassie. Timmy? Timmy Martin? Uh-huh. Tim Lassie. Hello, Lassie. Are you going to the office? That's right. On Saturday? Well, a lawyer just doesn't work a 40-hour week, Timmy. And even if I wanted to take a rest, Duke would insist that I go down to the office. He's a hard taskmaster. So long, Mr. Stanton. It's nice to have seen you, Timmy. Bye, Duke. Come on, Duke. To me, like you were going at a pretty fast clip. I'm afraid so, sir. I, I must have hit some gravel on that curve. Duke. Duke. He's all right, Mr. Stanton. Oh, thank heavens. It's a pretty wonderful dog there. The way he knocked you out of the way when I skidded. I guess we can both be pretty grateful to him. Are you sure you're all right, sir? Slightly shaken. That's all. Oh, thanks. My advice to you, young man, is to take it slower on those curves. Yes, sir, I will. Would you like last of me to walk into your office, Mr. Stanton? Oh, I'd appreciate that very much, Timmy. And we better get going so your mother can have that thread. Okay. Thank you. Come on, Duke. Duke. Our thanks again, Timmy, to you and Lassie for all your help. That's okay. Bye. Goodbye. And remember me to your mom and dad. We will. Come on, dear. Timmy. What happened? Oh, when that car came at you, Duke panicked. What is it, boy? What's the matter? <coughs> Something's wrong with me. Maybe I ought to take him down to the vets and have Doc Weaver check him over. Would you and Lassie mind going along with us? I'll explain the delay to your mother. Oh, sure. Here. Thanks, Timmy. Come on, Duke. Come on. To me, like he's in perfect health. Oh, good. <laughs> Come on, boy. Come on. Oh. <laughs> well, please give me his harness, Timmy. Thanks. Let me have this a moment, John. It's all right, Duke. Come on, Duke. Go. Good 
could be that accident did some damage we can't see. What do you mean, Doc? I'd like to make some x-rays, run some tests. But you'd have to leave him here with me for a few days, Jim. Well, if you really think it's necessary. But you know I can't go out of the house without Duke to lead me. I can't go to the office or the store or anywhere. Well, I'm sure my mom would be glad to drive you anywhere you wanted to go, Mr. Stanton. That's very kind of her, son. I never realized to now how lost I'd be without you, boy. He'll be lonesome without you, too, Jim. And Mr. Stanton, why don't you come and stay with us? Just until the doctor's finished with his test. I've put you to so much trouble already. But I know my mom would insist. Well, it's a great temptation. Then you'll come? Well, all right. If there's anything at all I can do, Jim. Thanks, Doc. Thanks. Goodbye, boy. Well, thanks. Physically, he's all right, Timmy. The x-rays and tests didn't show anything wrong. Then why does everybody look so worried? Well, Timmy, Duke still isn't over his fear. Does Mr. Stanton know? No. No, I drove him to his office, and he thinks that Duke is at Doc Weaver's. Near as I can figure, Duke's suffering from shock. Is there anything we can do to help get him over this? Frankly, I don't know of any way, Ruth. A person can sometimes be reasoned out of his fears. But an animal acts on instinct. He can't rationalize. And therefore, he can't reason with them. I see. Hello, Duke. Poor Jim. He'll be completely helpless. Couldn't he get another guide dog and still keep Duke? I doubt if Jim would want to do that, Ruth. He's getting along in years, and it takes time and effort to train with and adjust to a new dog. Besides, he might not consider it fair to Duke to have another guide dog around. Well, I guess we better tell Jim. Poor Jim. He was so sure that Duke would be all right. Boy, I'll take you home. Dr. Weaver, I've been thinking, even if we can't reason with Duke, maybe Lassie can. Animals understand each other, don't they? Well, I don't know, Timmy. I'll bet if we could have Duke for a couple of days, well, we could get him over his fear. It might be worth a try. Lassie's awfully good with other animals. Well, we got to lose. Sure, go ahead, son. Oh, gee, thanks, Dr. Weaver. I'll keep in touch and see what progress you're making. Shall we tell Jim? Mm, let's wait a day or so. Hmm? I'll take the responsibility. But you be very careful with him, you hear? Yes, sir. Bye. Bye, Bye, Bye Doctor. Doctor. Come on, Lassie. Come on, Duke. Now watch, Duke. Okay, Lassie, go get it. Good girl, Lassie. Now it's your turn, Duke. You stay here. Go get it, Duke. Go on. You just don't know how to play at all, do you? Go get it, Lassie. Thanks, Lassie. 
Now, Duke, this time you get it. Go on, Duke. Okay, Duke. Go get the stick. Go get it. Go get the stick, Duke. Okay, now let's try it again. Go get it, Duke. Looks like he's finally catching on, girl. Duke, I'm proud of you. You're doing fine. Isn't he, Lassie? But there's just one more thing you have to get used to. Go get the harness, Lassie. Duke, if you pass this test, you're almost ready to go home to Mr. Stanton. Thanks, girl. Now, this won't hurt, Duke. Showed you this doesn't hurt. Stay. Stay, boy. Duke. Duke. Oh, good boy. You know something, Lassie? I think we're in business. Try something for Duke. Duke, now stay here. Stay. I sure did. Seems like you've really been doing a job with him. It's mostly Lassie's doing. Good work, Lassie. Maybe you're ready to go back on the job now, eh, boy? Come on. He's waiting for you.
Goodbye, Timmy. Oh, I'm very sorry to hear that. Well, he and Lassie worked very hard. He'll be very disappointed. Oh, yes, of course. We'll do everything we can. All right. All right. Goodbye. Morning, dear. Boy, am I starved. Doc Weaver just called. It's bad news, I'm afraid. Duke isn't as cured as we thought he was. Well, what happened? Jim took him out last night, and he shied from a truck. They nearly had a serious accident. But he was fine yesterday afternoon. I know, dear. I was so sure we had him cured of his fear. Oh, you did the best you could, dear. And Doc Weaver was surprised that you did as well as you did. But he thinks that Duke was just imitating Lassie. Duke isn't ready to be on his own as a guide dog. He may never be ready again. Well, what's going to happen now, Mom? Well, Jim's going to leave Calverton. He's making arrangements to enter a rest home. Golly, what'll happen to Duke? He wants us to see if we can help find him a good home. Oh, don't feel bad about it, Timmy. Jim understands. Doc Weaver says he's taking it very well. Gosh, Mom, I just know that Duke can be cured. There's nothing you can do about it now, dear. Go get the ticket, Jim. Unless you want to say goodbye to Duke. We've already said goodbye, Doc. I think Duke understands. So long, Timmy. Goodbye, Mr. Stan. You don't have to worry about Duke. We'll find a good home for him. Get Jim's bags out of the car, will you, Tim? Okay, Doc.
train should be here any minute now, Jim. If you don't mind, Doc, would you please return the ticket? I don't think I'll be leaving Calverton after all. Come on, Duke. Come on. Oh. 